What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about G-O-A-L-S? Yes, goals. Goals are great, and they're not just for soccer or football. Whatever you prefer, I do not. Goals are great to help employees improve their performance by giving them specific tasks to work towards over a period of time. They should be specific and measurable so if we know if the goal has been achieved. We assign goals during our annual performance reviews or when we identify areas where an employee can develop new skills or improve their work. By setting the right goals, managers can track progress, support career development, and ensure employees stay engaged and motivated. So follow along to learn how to assign and manage employee goals. Here we are on my main appraisals dashboard. We're going to start by looking into Joanne Timber's appraisal card. At the top, we have a goal smart button, and I can see that she currently has two goals. To see what they are, all we have to do is click into the goal smart button, and what's shown are Joanne's goals that I assigned her during her last appraisal. But let's take a closer look at this complete safety certification goal. This form right here provides all the details from the goal name, who this goal is assigned to, the current progress, the manager responsible, the deadline, as well as any associated tags. I also have a description tab here at the bottom that provides me with more details. And I've noticed that in this tab, I emailed her the internal survey exam on January 23rd. Turns out I recently received an email from Joanne that she completed the safety course and even got a perfect score. So I'm gonna update this goal now by clicking mark is done. And when I do, she automatically gets 100% progress. Since she's finished her safety training, I want her to lead the next quarterly safety audit for the carpentry station. I can easily add a new goal for Joanne by going back to her goals page via the breadcrumbs here at the top and then clicking new in the upper left hand corner. Then I can go ahead and name this goal and we'll put perform safety audit in March. And since she hasn't yet started this goal, the progress will remain at zero. And for the deadline, we're shooting for end of March here, so I'm gonna put March 31st. As for the tags, we're gonna mark this with carpentry as well as safety. And last, we'll enter a quick description, and I already have one created, so I'm just gonna paste it in just like so. Okay, now when we return to the previous screen via the breadcrumbs at the top, we can see Joanne's new goal right here. And if we go back to her appraisals card, it'll actually only show two goals still because one is complete and she only has two left to complete. Okay, that's one way to view goals. Let's now take a closer look at the goals dashboard by clicking goals at the top. Here are all my goals for all the employees in the company organized in the default list view by employees. If I want, I can remove the employees filter here at the top and just see all the goals at once. These goals display similar information as the Kanban view, and I could click on a goal to view all the details. This list view allows me to adjust what is shown. If I filter to see only people I manage, Odoo will show me all the goals for people that I manage. But what if I want to see whose goal deadlines are approaching so I could check in on them? To do that, all I have to do is click into the search bar once again, click add custom group, and then select deadline. Looks like I have one goal here coming up in May and it's with Ronnie. So I'll make sure to check in with him to see how he's doing with that and remind him that he has a few months left to take care of this. Then it looks like we have a bit of a break until August. And then we have a bunch due at the end of the year. And that's it for this tutorial. We learned how to make and view goals for our employees so they can become the best employees they can through learning skills, getting training, and working towards, well, goals. See you in the next video. And for now, get back to your Italian lessons. Ciao.